If you like this video, please consider supporting me on Patreon. For just $1 a month, your name can appear at the beginning of this and many other upcoming videos. Well, golly, if you really mean it, uh -huh. um, I could use some help with my homework. I have to do something nice for each of these ponies, but I don't know anything about them. So your homework is to become friends with grown strangers? What the hell kind of school is this? What do you know, an episode that wasn't leaked early. Mark's for Effort features the return of the CMC as they try to get into Twilight School, only to be told they can't go because they're already masters in friendship, I guess. Later they find themselves helping out Cozy Glow with her assignments in school and they end up developing a relationship with her. And unfortunately, it feels pretty underwhelming. Okay, the episode isn't that bad, but you still get the feeling that they didn't put enough interesting thought into this one. The first and probably the biggest problem with the episode is that the first seven minutes is a complete waste of time. It just focuses on the CMC acting foolish, deceitful, and desperate to get into Twilight School. And it goes absolutely nowhere. The first act doesn't have any real effect on the main story it's going for, and it has extremely sluggish pacing issues. It feels so slow because they put too much time into setting up the CMC to fail, and it's really annoying. The CMC don't even feel in character with these seven minutes. They seem to have forgotten about their mission to help out Blank Flanks find their calling in life, and are strangely obsessed with a school they clearly don't need to go to. It undermines the character development they've gone through and does a very distracting 180 on their motivations. I can only think of two good things to come out of this first act, and both of them are minor background elements. The first good thing is that we actually get to see more classes in progress in the school, and some of the stuff they teach is actually pretty interesting, teaching sharing and teamwork and how it ties into friendship. We also see Twilight teaching a history lesson which not only works as a clever reference to a previous episode, but also shows how the students are actually learning something by attending. Ending. That's a really good attention to detail. The second good thing is that we see Spike teaching the ponies how to chant to their future dragon lord, with a reference to one of Robin Williams' best movies, Dead Poet Society. Now that is an old movie. It's not until the second act that the episode actually has a flowing narrative and we're introduced to Cozy Glow. And I gotta say, there is definitely something fishy going on with her. I mean, the way she acts so innocent and cute has a really suspicious feel to it. She has this weepy tone in the way she talks that's really overdoing it, like her innocent nature is a cover-up for something. And her sudden appearance in front of the CMC's clubhouse and crying to get their attention feels a little too convenient. Even the way she asks for help in studying for this test has a really suspicious feel to it. And finding out later that she failed after all that studying on purpose to make Twilight think the CMC were bad at friendship so she'd let them attend is way too elaborate of a plan for some random kid to come up with. Even the way she honestly confesses that she failed on purpose and reveals her true motivations feels like she was just doing it to gain their trust. I mean, her plan only ended up working because Twilight and Starlight ended up doing exactly what they did, as if they were playing right into her hand. You might think that I'm just assuming too much, but there's a whole bunch of hints that really don't feel right with her. She seems to mistake the element of magic with an instrument used to control others, and when guessing it right, she gives a really suspicious glare when focusing on it. And her cutie mark is the Rook piece from Chess. The Rook is supposed to be one of the most valuable pieces in the game, and Chess at its core is a game of strategy. If her cutie mark really fits into her talent and personality, she's definitely planning something. Something that involves getting into the school and playing off the CMC to gain their trust. Her cute nature and acting all nice and innocent just feels like a manipulative trick. Even Starlight seems to comment on how her plan was devious, and considering her history and devious plans, that's certainly saying something. Perhaps a good thing about it is that they seem to handle Cozy Glow in a reasonable manner. She does appear to be socially awkward and ask the CMC what they would gain from helping her, which supports the idea of how little she knows about friendship and why she would need someone to teach her. She seems to express a genuine interest in friendship, so it could be that she just needs improvement. But still, there's no way I'm trusting someone that overly sweet with a straight face. It's easy to tell that this is most likely building up to something for a later episode. And if that's the case, I have to admit that it's an interesting plan by the writers to build anticipation for what's coming up. 
We'll just have to see how it plays out. As for the rest of the second act, it seems to have a reasonably nice flow. The story might feel like it's about these kids using each other for their own personal gains, or at least that might be how it is for Cozy Glow, but you get the sensation that the CMC genuinely want to help her out, and they use some reasonably clever methods of educating her and teaching her about friendship. Using visuals and actions to teach her about the elements and what they represent, noticing someone's interests and when they need help with something, and learning how to socialize with others. The scenes of the CMC spending time with Cozy Glow are properly paced, and it allows them to properly establish a friendship with her while also playing into their motives in helping out others. They do a pretty good job educating her, and it's a good role of support for them to be a part of. It's also done in a clever way as they don't do everything for her, rather they help her gain experience to do things on her own, naturally encouraging her to work on her friendship skills. The second act is definitely the best part of the episode, because it greatly picks up from the pointless first act and tells a satisfying story about the CMC helping someone out. But there's a few more things that happen in the third act that kind of drag things down. First is when Twilight is just jumping to conclusions and bans the CMC from the school, which is really stupid on her end. At first she was being reasonable because she acknowledges that they need Charlie's school more because it's more beneficial for them. But in this scene, she's just assuming their intentions without listening to their point of view. She said they know everything about friendship, but then claims that they set up Cozy to fail. If anyone got hit with the idiot stick in this episode, it was definitely her. And the ending has a really confusing feel to it. And it also feels kind of wrong as it seems to rewrite the motivations of the CMC. They wanted to attend the school for the entire episode, but now they're happy because they graduated and never actually got to go to the school? And if they're now gonna be honorary teachers as their new character arc, it contradicts the idea of them focusing on the entire reason they got their cutie marks. Instead of helping other fillies get their cutie marks and find their calling in life, they're now gonna focus on being teachers despite that they're still attending school themselves. Maybe they'll be free on weekends, but it's still feels confusing. Unlike the CMC who only had two occupations, the CMC have to make time for three of them. So the way they're going to manage their time to do all this comes across as a huge stretch. Going to school, being teachers, and helping out blank flanks feels like a tall order. And I really hope the staff don't just completely forget about how helping other fillies was the entire point of their character growth in favor of giving them this new position as honorary teachers. So yeah, Marks for Effort is one of the less interesting episodes episodes this season. The second act was really good, but the first one and the third one are poorly paced and characterized with an ending that has some really unfortunate implications. I do however like the idea of Cozy Glow foreshadowing for a possible upcoming event, as it may end up improving this episode in the future depending on how this upcoming event is handled. The way she's introduced and the role that she plays is reasonably interesting and it does give the CMC more to do than just trying to lie themselves into the school. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. So until next time, time, take care of yourselves, and stay awesome. This is Map, signing out.